here. Come on inside before it starts raining again. And I can give you a new tour of the YouTube studio. It's finally ready. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube studio. All right, let me start with the tour on the foyer. Here, when you walk through the front door, I got cool little, you know, coat rack where I can have my backpack, jackets, always one wheels ready for a ride. In here, we got a bathroom, nothing glorious, but it does the job. And then from there, you walk in to the foyer. Here I have one table with a gear shelf. Uh, sometimes friends come here and just hang out and they can work here on the table, or I use this table as a product photography videography area here. So if I want any B-roll of gear, I can shoot it here. And for this area, I have the Aperture Nova P300C. This is a really great light as well. I can get RGB colors out of there if I want to get some nice color tones for my photos or video. And then as well, if I need an extra light, got the little Aperture 120D here as a secondary light. I got a gray backdrop, but I also do have a white backdrop there on the floor if I need to change this up. So this is kind of like the photography, videography B-roll for products. And this is a nice stylish corner for some extra angles to talk through. All right, this corner of the YouTube office is my kitchen. It is a whopping one meter by two meters, but it does the job. I can cook here, I can microwave my food here and I've got a fridge. So it really has everything that I need to enjoy a nice lunch here and have some cold beverages. All right, before I continue the tour of my YouTube studio, I want to talk to all the creators watching. If you're a commercial editor or a social content creator and you haven't yet heard about ArtGrid, you're gonna wanna listen right now. Because as creators, we all know that there's so many moments where we wish we could go and film all sorts of cinematic footage, but we just don't have the time or the budget. So even if we wanted to make the most high quality projects, we just can't always make it happen. But the answer to our problems as content creators lies in ArtGrid. ArtGrid literally has thousands of cinematic clips at your disposal. If you need epic action shots for a commercial you're making for a clothing brand, you got it. Or how about if you're doing a short film about the universe and space? Well, you got it. The clips are there on ArtGrid. Or what if you have a quick turnaround on a corporate video and you've literally only filmed talking headshots, but you want some cool shots of skyscrapers and business people? Well, you've got it. It's all there on ArtGrid and it actually will help you as an editor make your projects way faster and way more high quality, which means that in the end, you are gonna have one happy client and I think that as well, you'd be much happier as well because you're gonna be saving a lot of time and as well, you're gonna be making a lot higher quality projects. So if I've done a good job of roping you in, enticing you to check out ArtGrid, there's three basic plans that you can use. There's the junior, the creator, and the pro plan. The junior plan is for someone who's just starting out, maybe you don't have access to a camera, but you wanna get used to editing and making videos, you should grab the junior plan. But if you are a social media content creator, definitely I would suggest the creator plan because that's gonna give you access to footage from 4K to 8K. They're gonna be pro res and graded, ready for you to use in in your projects. Then if you're a full-time editor creating commercial work for clients, make sure you grab the pro plan because that's gonna get you 4K to 8K ProRes footage, raw and log, which is gonna help you color grade the footage into the direction that you want stylized. In order to save some bucks, make sure to use the link in my description because you're gonna get two months free on the yearly subscription, meaning if you get the creator plan, you're gonna save $60, and if you get the pro plan, you're gonna save yourself a whopping hundred dollars so that's a nice bonus to have on top of already what you're getting with the art grid services all right let's go back to the youtube studio tour all right now let me take you to the main room of my youtube studio and before i do the grand reveal i just want to give you a little bit of rundown of the style and feel that i wanted for it i wanted a really minimalist scandinavian 
warm tones with some nice green plants in order just to make a really nice looking office studio space. I figured if I am spending half my day of my life every day, I want it to be a place where I really enjoy being. So for the grand reveal, let me flip the camera over and show you the office. Voila, here is the main YouTube studio space. So here we have one table. This is a Jarvis side desk from Fully. Uh, I got a nice Fully chair here. Got some planters, my unboxing knife right here. And then we got beautiful two huge windows here. We have our couch space with the two picture frames that I finally got up here. There's a little bit of shadows right now, but finally got those guys up on the wall after some challenges. So we got this cool little chill out corner. And then this is the main YouTube editing table and talking head space. So let me do a rundown of what we got here. We got the 300D with the light dome as my main light. Um, I have as well a fully Jarvis bamboo desk that's uh, able to go up and down. Here I have this Alonzi mount that I can do, you know, top down shots. So I put the Sony ZV-1 on this little here in order to get the top down shots of my desk. The acoustic paneling is probably the one thing that I'm most proud of in my YouTube studio. I really didn't want these ugly acoustic panels all over my office. I wanted to look natural and a part of the studio. So the guys at Big Macs and Treetop from Denmark um, gave me this acoustic paneling and set me up in my YouTube studio. It just looks so nice and sleek and as well it does the job of dampening the echo and just making better sound in my office. I went with the oiled oak color and I really like the nice vibes it gives for my office. I also have this new guy, a little addition to the office. This is the Asus Tor external storage. I got about 40 terabytes in this guy. I'm super excited to have finally an external storage system in my office space because I've noticed that the longer I do this YouTube journey, there's just more and more files and photos, but I wanna be able to have all those in store for the future because you never know what kind of old footage you wanna pull up for future videos. So it's really important that I've invested in the Asus Tor system. So one thing I wanted to make sure with my YouTube studio was that I wanted to make sure that I could film pretty much anywhere all at the same time and have good lighting. So here's my lighting setup. I have the light dome with the 300D as my main light right here. Then I have an atmosphere light, another 300D with the lantern right here. And that just lights up the whole room and brings up the natural feel to the room. This is really important, especially living here in Finland. You know, right now in the summertime, we have the midsummer, the sun's not going down, but winter will come soon, which means it's gonna be dark and we wanna have that nice atmosphere light just brightening up the whole room. Then when we go into this room, like I said, I have the Nova and the 120D to light up this space as well. And plus we have a whole lot of natural light with the four windows. Another thing I'm really happy about with this YouTube studio space is that I just have so many different areas where I can film different angles for the talking headshots, which just keeps it a little bit more exciting for you guys as the audience to watch. I have my main table, which I'm filming that way in order to get that, you know, really dynamic feel. I'm gonna start incorporating some angles with the backdrop acoustic panel feel. As well, I can always film close to these two windows because it gives really nice light on the face, like this. So this is always a good angle. Then I can do some talking shots while sitting on the couch with the new picture frames in the background. And then in the other room as well, this can be one angle with these two leading lines, or this can be an angle with these leading lines towards my head, or I can film as well in the kitchen like this, and there's nice leading lines all over. So there's a lot of places and different angles that I can use to do talking headshots in my YouTube office. Now, is it always this clean in the YouTube office? Does it always look so minimalistic and pristine? If I'm brutally honest with you guys, that's a no. 
This place usually is quite messy, especially when I'm creating videos and the desks are never this clean. So you're probably wondering, where's all the stuff? Let me show you. So it's a good and a bad thing that I have a lot of storage space, but they're full of stuff and crap in all of them. And those are just the first three. When we go over here, this is my dump drawer. So this one has just like every small piece of gear you can think of is in this space. And here is just a cleaning closet. I really think I'm gonna have to invite Peter here to my office to just help me do some sort of storage system because right now what's in these closets is a disaster, but I wanted to clean my YouTube studio, make it look pristine for this video. So yeah, after a long six months, I think we can finally say that my YouTube studio is complete and ready for the next season that I'm about to start on. Has it taken a long time? Yes. Did I think it was gonna go faster than I thought? Yes but good things are worth waiting for. If you guys are interested in looking up any of the different things that I have here in my YouTube studio, I'll make sure to link them all below so you guys can go check them out and then invest in them if you want them for your YouTube studio or office space. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. I am just gonna enjoy being in a clean office for once. We're out of here.